So, uh, yeah, this happened. So yeah, um, I was looking for rabbits, rabbits, on a glacier, because they spawn there, and I want them so I can get a hippogriff, because they take rabbit's foot. But then when I went there, there was a dragon right there. I had dug down, and I had my trusty hellbird, which I think I made last episode. And yeah, it took a while, but I, uh, I beat him. It does 14 attack damage, so that was crazy and out of that i only got two rabbits foot but i made an order with super pig he's a bunny farm so he can give me some uh he can give me some uh for the rabbit's foot so we can get a hippogriff late but that's not what we're doing in today's episode in today's episode we are going to um what are we doing again oh yeah we're about to um go make a skeleton oh, my, my, oh, my bad we're gonna go make a skeleton spawner no, we're going to make a skeleton farm, because we have a skeleton spawner. Sorry, it's been a while since I've recorded. I'm out of my mojo. And, uh, back behind my portal over here, I made a nice little enchantment room. This took all day to make. We play, like, every day, um, at night. Sometimes I record, sometimes I don't. Um, and I spent the entire time that we played as a group, just me and my friends hanging out, you know, to, uh, make all these bookshelves so we can get like enchant our bow and whatnot get punch one all that good stuff i don't even have enough levels but with our skeleton spawner we hopefully should now i don't want to actually use this armor yet until i can enchant it all so because i don't want it to break so i'm just gonna like keep it in here until it's safe you know oh man boom there we go but for now, I'll just keep wearing this, this stuff I have here. And also, I added a bit more, hold on, I'm gonna turn off armor, there we go. I added a bit more to the, uh, interior here. We got up to the stairs, it used to just be a balcony. So yeah, we got our nice balcony over here, but then I added, like, a little stairwell, you know, it's kind of messy, you got signs all over and fences, torches. Uh, we got a nice little window we can look out here. I was originally going to put the enchanting table here, but it didn't really fit, so I put it in a little secret room under the portal. I'm not sure what I should put here yet. I'll probably figure something out. Maybe I'll put my BC area there, but a good spot would also be right there for it. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways. Oh, yeah. We also have Roger. Uh, Roger I found by JMB's base because he lives in the jungle. He said he got a bird, so I'm like, yo, I want a bird. And then I got another bird. Sorry. Sorry, Shifu. You're also a bird. But, yeah, we got Roger and Shifu. They're... Hello best buddies now and uh yeah he's very loud <laughs> almost as loud as shifu so uh i need to explain something i guess we have a little rule on the server where you can go in spectator mode whenever you want to just to in, in like inspect the area like underground you know to find something it's a little cheaty but we have setbacks, like, you have to go back to your original position to find it, or to your original position, and then, like, say you found, like, a dragon or something underground, which I actually did, if you see on my map right there. We have, uh, where'd it go? Here we go. There's a dragon right under here, and I found out there's actually a dragon right here, too, just under my base. But there's a red dragon down there, so I want that one. But that's not going to be today. It's going to be a long time. Uh, another rule, we can't get dragons until we've mastered our first bending. So for me, that would include fire bending, combustion bending, and lightning bending. You need to master in order to get a dragon. Just, you know, so it's more mid-game instead of, like, right away. Because it's kind of easy to do right away if you do the right strat and everything. But uh, what we're going to do is, if I go to JMD's base... And then, 
I went into spectator mode just to check out the area, you know, like, we go back to where we started in spectator mode. I know, guys, I know, it's kind of cheaty, but it'll take forever just to mine and find something, but we have mods, like, look at all this stuff. Everything is cheaty. <laughs> We're not obviously gonna, like, cheat that much, you know, it's like, oh man, the dragon killed me, I'm gonna go on creative and get all my stuff out. No, no, you gotta go get it back or make new stuff, whatever. This is just one kind of rule just to push us forward a little bit more, you know. Like, if we need to find a dragon. Oh my god! Oh, that scared me so bad. Go away. I hate you. Oh god. Ugh. Forgot they spawned here. Good grief. Oh my god, I've never been more scared of my... Oh. Anyways, <laughs> gotta make sure there's no more around here. <laughs> They're actually really easy to spot. I don't know how that caught me off guard at all. Like, oh man, I'm scared now. <laughs> so there is a skeleton spawner right underneath us. I have a, uh, nope, nope. I have a waypoint set for right here. Here we go. Nice spooky cave. Amazing, right? So I'm gonna get some stuff. Get ready to um mine out. Oh hey, some iron. Get ready to make a skeleton spawner so we can up our bending and level up, grind up, and all that stuff. So yeah. Also, I wanna show you if I I'm pretty sure I didn't. If I did in the last episode cut this out, but I don't think I did. I got a couple more abilities, like fireball. I got flame strikes. So I can go. It looks really cool in third person. Um, and I got flamethrower. I think I got that last episode. But I also have flame glide. So now I can just press V and I can go. Wee! It's awesome. Uh, I've almost got this to level three. Almost got this to level two. Almost got this to level three. And I've almost got this to level three. This is still on level one, not even close. I haven't really used it much, but with the skeleton spawner, it's really, really easy. It'd also be a uh, good thing to get for earthbending scrolls for the skeleton spawner. So that'll be very good because we're going to need earthbending scrolls later on. That'll probably be the second element I learn. I think I'm going to do air next because no fall damage sounds very nice. Anyway, uh, back to the main thing, I suppose. Okay, I boxed this in enough so we can uh, work without any uh, disruptions. The skeleton spawner is right below us, so I'm just gonna clear this out a little bit here. I'm pretty sure I can hear them spawning right below me, so if I just dig down like three, four blocks? Five blocks? Six blocks? Yeah, I can hear them spawning. That's gonna be a slight problem. Oh, there they are. I only have two arrows, so I'm not the best with ranged attacks right now. Where's the actual spawner? I need to light it up. Oh, they're gonna shoot me. Okay, there it is. Just need to get down there and light it up. So if I can go right down here. Oh crap, I can't quite reach. Okay. Please don't break. Ah! Okay. Okay. No, nope. no, it's fine. It's fine. I just uh hmm. Wish I had more bows. Or arrows. <laughs> Come on, I can't quite make it. Okay. That's it's fine. It's fine. We're totally fine. Ow. Well, that didn't help either. Just go down by like one more block. Crap. I just have a stone pick. That's awesome. No, oh, shoot. 
Oh, wait, can this reach him? Oh, come on, its reach is so long. How can I not reach them? Fine. Oh, well. I guess I just gotta go down there and light it up. And they'll shoot each other. <laughs> This is the best plan I've ever had. Oh god, I'm about to die. Please don't die. I said don't die! Cool. So I think they can actually still spawn. It's like some kind of weird bug or something. I don't know. Is there anything good in here? Got some gold. Uh, plenty of manuscripts. Saddle. Tier 2 earthbending scroll. More gold. Ooh, hey. Got a music disc. That's nice. Okay, so I think how these work is you have to go out by four on every side. I'm gonna make a little staircase here. Okay, so I'm gonna look this up really quick. I'm just gonna be right back. I just need to uh, check this, check this thing pretty quick here. All right, so everyone, I got this entire room dug out. Um, it's like four every direction, and yes, well there you go, is on. He's gonna help me a little bit just to speed up the process. I know how to do everything, but with oh that was some lag, but having him here, he can just mess around on the server because he wants to, and uh, he can help me out with this. So this is where the um. Thing is gonna go for the skeletons are gonna end up right here. I made a little water source right there, and then this yeah we're just gonna like place water get down here, and then the skeletons are gonna make end up right here. So I'm actually gonna go get him now, and then we're gonna find our way back to my base, and we're gonna start working on the skeleton spawner. He's just getting resources right now. I'll be right back. There we go. Nice job. So yeah, it's just like there's a hopper right underneath where they stand. So whatever they drop. Okay, well we need to put a stair here because you can't open this or a slab or something. But whatever they drop will go in this chest, and then you put a slab and a block here so you can just shoot through them right that. And I'm gonna actually use this to uh, level up my bending, which I am going to do right now, not in a time lapse. I'm just gonna. Do it, and I am going to master fire bending. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, Jeez, there, forty-seven. There's another now. one. Aw, oh, dang it! It's <laughs> not the nice, pretty gray color, though. Uh, so Whatever. I probably shouldn't have said I'd master all the bendings, or all of master fire bending. Um, I ma I maxed up all of the attacking abilities except for fire jump. I'm really close with fire jump, but. Um, with these last two, this one is going to take a lot of tier 5 scrolls, and then this one is going to take a bunch of tier 3s, and I'm all out of those. So, I, for the most part, I've mastered it. I'm not going to move on to combustion or lightning yet. I'm just going to, off camera, keep grinding up for those. So, I basically mastered it, but haven't quite yet, because it's going to be very hard. But by the time of the next video... I might have maxed them, or I might have not. Anyways, this video has gone on for long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.